Welcome back, everybody. And uh, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Nine Souls. In the last episode, we took down Yan Lao and uh, defeated his robot, the uh, Sky Rending Claw. And then we opened up his vault over there and got some goodies out of it. We're gonna head on over to um, uh, to the pavilion, actually, and we're gonna we're gonna get some uh, give some stuff to Shuan Shuan. Also, I'm going to see if there's any anything I can spend my gin on. Mm. Darn, he really does have potential. Even a monkey like him can understand music. That's so unfair. Thank you. Everyone in the village also says that I play well. Quit your bragging. Your grasp on technique is light light years be behind Hang's. Huh? Hang? Is that the owner of this flute? Hang is his little sister. Did did he never mention it? Ye loved her to bits. He would um, he would show us videos of her of his sister's recitals whenever he was drunk. Uh. That's enough, Kwafu. Huh? Wow, really? Why didn't you tell me you had a little sister? Ah, oh, I'm so jealous. I wish I had a little sister. She was such a kind, good girl. She did everything Yi would, wouldn't do and stayed mostly at home to help her mom and dad with work. Uh -huh. She used to send us a care package with all kinds of delicious goodies every every month, including uh, including notes telling us uh, to make Yi get more sleep. The entire lab loved her to bits, unlike... Uh. Kwafu, shut up. Oh, okay, sorry. That's nice. So you had a family that cared a lot for you. So what's the age difference? Do you have a, other brothers and sisters? Tell me. I think Uncle Chubby's done with his story, right? Mm. Sorry, kid. I can't say any more. Ooh. So his family is probably not doing so hot. Uh, let's see if my helper has anything to say. Nope. Okay. I would really like this thing to get to full like fully grow because I think that's the only way I'm going to get up there. <laughs> I saw that old grandpa on Abacus's screen. Uh, that was amazing. How old is he? Not sure. Probably old enough to be my great-grandfather. Wait, Abacus wasn't supposed to show you that. I heard you talking about a repository. It sounds like a really important place. <laughs> Did you find any legendary swords or cooking utensils there? No, I only picked up some rare metals and spare resources. It was just a bunch of antiques. Their age is the only reason why they're valuable. I think being old is pretty remarkable. Makes me think of that girl living next door to us who choked on a fishbone and passed away so young. It takes lots of effort to keep something or someone around for a long time. And let's give him uh, the antique vinyl record. Wow, this thin stone looks so pretty. Are you going to decorate the pavilion with it? This is a record. It's used to store music. It would be easier if I just let Abacus demonstrate. Whoa, it sounds like there's people inside. And this voice, it sounds really unique, like they have an egg stuck in their mouth. I know this song. Okay. It's Millennium Moment, released by Feng Jian in the year 2986 of the Turbulent Era. It's a song that had a huge influence during the Millennium of Inquiry. Oh 
What is it about? Uh, millennium moment? Moment? How long is that? Millennium moment. Your chains still ma your chains still mattered. Millennium moment. Your thoughts unfettered. Your thoughts unfettered. Fettered. Thoughts unfettered. It describes the vibrant clash of different ideas during that time. People were tired of the endless wars, so they kept thinking, trying to imagine a way out. For that reason, many films and shows were set in that beautiful era. If I remember correctly, this was also the theme of a best-selling movie. I love that movie, and I definitely went to see it more than once. Grand Strategist's Day Off was actually a box office bomb on release. Rest assured, my lord, good taste isn't defined by the masses. Neat. Okay, so I got um I got a pretty cool uh, um a cool record. Um, so a user uh, had left a comment on a previous video. Um, most likely smarter than you told me that uh, I can rest after I give something to Shuan Chuan, and he may have done something with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, nice. Okay. I, oh, I can just turn it on. Well, I am going to give him a virtual reality device. So, um, wait, where, where is he? Um, oh, he's standing outside. Okay. Here he is watering away. Want to try a new toy? What is this? A hat? It's a virtual reality display called the Draconis Anima. I can't see anything. It's just covering my eyes up. It actually does the exact opposite. It can show you anything you wish to see. Are you ready? I'm booting it up now. Oh, it lit up. This was just a byproduct from, from Soulscape development. It never made it into the market. How do I play? It feels like it's just covering my eyes. Relax. Picture in your mind where you want to be or who you want to meet, and the background should change. Nothing changed. It's not responding. All I can see is the Four Seasons Pavilion. You're standing right there. Whoa, that grilled fish you're holding looks delicious. Can I have a bite? You're already in virtual reality. Try pulling up the virtual menu. There should be plenty of old games in the database. Hmm. Oh, there's the menu. What's this? What's this? Top horror games? What does that mean? Detention? That doesn't sound that doesn't look very interesting. Are these the only games I can I can play? Oh, detention. That's a uh that's a nod. Uh, Red Candle Games has a previous game uh called Detention. Developers of this game. Don't knock it till you try it. I have a feeling you won't be bothering me for a while. Ha! That's cool. Uh, Alright, let's rest and see if he's done anything else with it. Oh. Oh, whoa, it's like nighttime now. Okay, so Kwafu has something to say. What do you have there? Let me see. A thunderburst bomb. This banned Feng Shi weapon hasn't been uh, hasn't been seen since the end of the war. If I reduce its size and adjust the explosion radius, it might it just might work. What are you mumbling to yourself about? Give me a moment. You'll understand soon. Done. There, your new arrow, the Thunderburst Arrow. Arrow, Thunderbuster. Arrows that incorporate the power of Thunderburst thunder burst bombs upon striking an enemy. These arrows generate a series of explosive blasts, striking them down in an instant with a thunder with thunderous force. Pretty neat. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, Azure Sand Magazine. All right, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Arrow Thunder Burst S. I need Dark Steel for that, which I do have now. Uh, I need an Herb Catalyst to get another pipe upgrade, transmute unto wealth. I can only buy one of these though, but I, um, oh, but I don't actually want transmute unto wealth. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do the Thunderburst Arrow, Thunderburster S. I was on pretty good terms with the Lao, right? Yeah, you were more adept at pleasing the elderly than I was. <laughs> good, since he won't be needing any of it, do you think I'll be able to pick up some stuff from the repository when all this blows over? Those antique machines look so lonely under those glass covers. I have always wanted to take them apart to study. I'm sure you're aware that Yan Lao valued his collection more than his life. If angry, vengeful spirits don't bother you, be my guest. Oh, curses, don't say that. You know I hate ghosts. All right, where is... Where is Yan Lao? Oh, still over here practicing. I have nothing to give. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for the tip. Uh, most likely smarter than you. That was... Uh, um, I, I will keep that in mind uh, as I continue to give uh, Shuan Shuan things. Okay. My lord, according to the data, the Hexacrem Vault lies inside Yan Lao's jurisdiction. This vault must be home to several treasured antiques and valuables. However, the boundless repository can be more labyrinthian than a real labyrinth. Please take care if you're looking for treasure out there. Dude, I went there, beat him up, came back. <sighs> My lord, it's been several centuries since you last departed. A regular life form would have had to endure countless winters and span multiple generations. I've been waiting to ask you this since I came back. Where is your sentiment setting at right now? Okay. My sentiment setting is currently locked at 90%. Who was it that adjusted your original settings? Hmm. I've been ordered to not divulge that information, but your incident seems to have affected them greatly. They came over often to chat with me after you were gone. They even activated my built-in therapist module. I wonder if it's the lady that, like, kicked me off the cliff at the very beginning. Okay. Got a bunch of story stuff out of the way. Got some upgrades. I'm, I'm really enjoying the story. Um, it, it's, um, it's... It was slower than I was used to, um, initially. Oh, nice. Okay, so I get, uh, better healing stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna give this guy two more poisons. Moltit Tianma Hide and Gui Sang. You actually managed to eat it? It's pretty good. The juices make my mouth feel tingly, but it's very flavorful. Why wouldn't you eat it? Because we use this rare skin to make leather goods. We wouldn't waste it by eating it. Ha, by, by eating it, you're just wasting good food. Oh, by not eating it, you're just wasting good food. Ah. There isn't anything that can be, can't be chewed on, just people with weak jaws. I gotta say, this is, this is one weird dude. <laughs> Does this look like a person to you, or am I just imagining things? Imagining things. This is the root of a medicinal herb. The roots tend to resemble arms, legs, and a torso. Ugh. I just saw it blink. Are you sure it's not alive? There are stories about how they can walk, but they're just folk tales. It just moved when I when I bit into it, I swear. Mm. Mm. Don't try to hoodwink me. I'm not like the other idiots in the village. Whenever they see something they don't understand, they just think it's the work of the gods or ghosts. They'll worship whatever and however the shaman tells them to. <laughs> One day, I'm going to overthrow that shaman, leave this stupid village, and live like a free man. And then? 
you've seen what uh, with the inside uh oh yeah uh, you're just moving from one smaller cage to a bigger one Maximum health increased, yeah. I do like that. Ugh. You know your vault thing? The place where a bunch of boxes fly around? I pried a few open to take a peek, only to find some hard stones and useless metal blocks. Those were rare resources we brought over from Penglai. Though I do agree that the repository houses a lot of worthless junk. Like these clothes for nobles. Fuck you! What's wrong with clothes? At least they keep you warm. Mm. If you had said so earlier, I would have opened up a few more boxes. Uh, yep, still more to talk about. Hey. My special medicinal brews ha um, can have miraculous effects on fitness. Perfect for martial arts practitioners like you. Remember what I said? No, po no poison, no brews. Where would I find poison for you? Oh, uh, don't think about it too hard. A lot of things in the world are poisonous. Only they won't be sit, uh, sitting out in the street. You'll need to explore more dangerous or secretive places. Okay, I'll try my best to find some, but I can't gauge toxicity. Uh, don't blame me if you accidentally poison yourself. <laughs> Rest assured, the poisons I've taken exceeds the number of times you've spoken in your whole life. All right. And I think I have a chip that I can give to uh, a Shanghai. I don't. Okay, I already gave it to him. Alright, so I did the warehouse. I did not yet finish the factory. I did the cortex center. Okay. Trying to figure out what to do. All right, so there's more factory to to explore. Ah, uh, let's see. You know, there, there's um, there, there's some stuff I have not yet finished. Um, I am actually going to go back to um, the central transport hub. There was a um, there was a person in here that I wanted to kill. Um, uh, one of the Red Tiger elites, I think. Uh, so I want to take them down, and I want to actually uh, I want to see if there's th th there's some stuff I missed in the Ape Man facility as well. So. Um, I'm gonna make my way back there. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna cut over to it when I when I get there. All right, so uh, Red Tiger Elite Yan Ren, uh, I just killed him, and I was pretty happy about it. I killed him in one go, and wouldn't you know it, the recording did not start. Um, I, yeah, that really sucks. Um, it took it took a few minutes to get down here, so I was just trying to shave some time off. Um, but basically, uh, what this guy does is he um, will slide his sword on the ground, just doing kind of like big heavy attacks. Um, but he'll shoot fire along the floor um, as you do that, uh, or as as he as he does that. All you have to do is jump up, air dash over it, attack him from the back, um, rinse repeat a couple times. If you really want to hit him with massive damage, hit him with your arrows. My god, those things annihilate him. Um, I mean, I, it took off a, probably 10 or 15% of his health um, each time I hit him with an arrow. I mean, it, it was a massive chunk. So. so let's see what he was hiding. Okay, so there is an elevator. That goes up. 
I don't want to take that just yet. Alright, there is something up there. Let's take the elevator. Oh, nice. Okay, and I can go to the eight-man facility. Very cool. All right, well, let, um, since I have that taken care of, let's see what's over here. The Galactic Dock. Galactic Dock sign. Galactic Dock attention. No entry while warping. The Galactic Dock is a space dock built by the Council on New Kunlun. It can accommodate up to 10 Yonbao class ships. These ships can be piloted to nearby uh, planets due to their limited range. They cannot handle interstellar travel. All right, got a rest point here. Water flow. Cloud piercer S. Oh, and I can okay, so I can change it to the thunderburster, thunderbur, thunderbuster S if I want to. Um, I'm gonna stick with the cloud piercer. That's been pretty good for me so far. Um, there is some up here I want. Tau fruit. Okay. Um, before we venture too far, let's uh, let's head back to the eight man facility because there was a whole section uh, that I appeared to have been missing. This seems like something where like a boss fight happens or something. Big empty room like that. I never trust them. All right, eight man facility. Let's go find that section that I was not able to check out um, earlier because I did not have the requisite skill for it. This, this little spot, oh, wrong button. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, got a treasure chest. Hell yeah. And a basic component. Oh, I got okay, I came here earlier, okay. Yeah. Alright, and what do I what do I discover now? The eight man facility depths. Oh, -ho. gotta do a perfect parry. Come on, buddy. That was a little reckless of me. Yeah, 
another basic component. Send off my little helper. You know, there have not been too many puzzles um, involving that thing. Um, but I, I thought it was a really neat mechanic and I'm a little disappointed it's not used more. Right, I'm not gonna open that door just yet. I'm gonna go through this one. So there's one. All right, so that would, that's gonna take me somewhere else. Awesome, got more of that sand. Ah, nice, there we go. Okay, shortcut. That's the other direction. Where am I in the eight man facility? Okay. Oh, I'm, I, oh, that's right. I'm in the I'm in the depths. I'm in a whole new whole new area. Okay. Uh, before taking that. Ooh, nice. And two skill points. Uh, between episodes, I, I bought um, Azure Recovery, so I gained some Azure Sand after I... Um, sometimes after someone dies. So, thought that would be handy. Uh, let's do backlash. Um, yeah, I'm gonna increase the internal damage inflicted by successful Tai Chi kick. Yeah, I got some more. I got some more of these. I only have two though, so like some of these I can't even install. All right, and where does this go down to? Ah, there it is. Okay. stuff up there. Let's go check it out. There we go. All right, how many more you got?
standard component, and medicinal citrine. Oh, another poison. An orange tinted ore. People once mixed it with wine, believing that it would strengthen the body. However, taking it in large quantities is harmful. Okay. Oh. There we go. This is the second of three. I'm wondering where that third one is. rest a little bit. Uh, can I send this dude up here? No. No, he won't do it. Oh, shoot. Alright, so... I need to find a way to lower this platform. Okay, so I've got, I, I've got a little bit left to discover in here. Um, and it says over here that I've that I've missed something. Let's go. I, I want to check that out for just one second. Yeah. Okay. God, that's so slow. Oh, nice. A towel fruit. That was well worth it. Okay, so there's the thing that goes over that direction. That's going to take me to just a different place, I believe. Um... Yeah. I think I think this is going to be a um, a good spot to wrap up. I'm going to begin the next episode. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explore around for a minute, and I'm gonna try and figure out um, what I need to do. Uh, and I will start the next episode after I figure out how to get to the other side of the um, of the depths. So I will see you all in the next episode.